Revolution golfers, Martin Chuck here, and welcome to the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona, the home of the Tour Striker Golf Academy. Wrapping up another great school this week. Had a lot of fun with some Revolution golfers down here. And don't forget, at Mission Inn Resort near Orlando, toward the end of this month on the Sunday, Monday, I believe it's the 20, 20, let's see, 28th and 29th, we have a school there. Sean Foley, Andrew Rice, and myself, and our assistants. It's going to be a blast. Come join us. Now, if I get a question on Revolution Golf, man, it's always, Martin, how do I start the downswing? What is the exact process of starting the downswing? Well, you know, I just did some, some training platform videos in our online platform for the folks who come to see us at the golf schools. And I had some great guys put some videos in there. And this is what I saw. And these guys are the, the they're probably 50 something, 60 years old. And you know what the shocking part about it is? Uh, the amazing amount of shoulder turn they try to muster in their backswing. They, have more shoulder turn than a young tour player. And you're probably thinking, well, maybe that's not me, Martin. Well, I think a lot of people have excessive turn and don't quite start the downswing properly because of another factor. They've got a weak club face. So let's talk about how to start the downswing first. And I'll use body track here and I'll hit a shot. And you'll see as I hit this shot, you know, my weight pressure is moving left and right. And you can see that in body track as I address this golf ball. Now, what I want you to understand is when I make a backswing, okay, this club, I've got the weight of the club in my hands, and you've heard me say that at nauseum probably now in Revolution Golf, is that when I swing this back, when my lead arm starts to get to about parallel to the ground, it's got some, it's got some momentum in it that takes it up to the top, okay? I've, I've created this momentum. Well, at this point, as I'm starting to go into my backswing, maybe my shoulders turn 90 degrees, maybe a little bit more than that, but not much more. And a lot of great tour players don't even turn their shoulders 90 degrees and hit it plenty far. Now, the issue with a lot of the club golfers and amateur golfers is that they have this massive overturn where they lose the pitch of their shoulders and then there's some crazy recovery to kind of bail themselves out in the last moment. So, Revolution Golfers, what I want you to consider, okay, is that when your lead arm starts to get parallel, starts to pass parallel to the ground, that's when you're going to feel this sense of pressure falling onto the lead foot. Okay, and you can see this little motion right here. My left knee, my lead knee is taking on a bit more flex. And that right there is a signal, a go time right there where I can unwind myself. So there's a sense of momentum that helps get us to the top. It doesn't wind us into smithereens that we can't recover from, but we get wound up. In fact, my full swing, that's about my left arm height. That's it. Once I start to feel this momentum up here, there's some falling to the left side and then winding through the swing and hopefully we collect the golf ball with a strong face. So in this golf school, we had some great folks and guess what we saw? We saw a whole bunch of this. We saw weak left hands and we saw excessive rolly faces and then from here, what do you think? Do you think I saw pressure to the lead side and unwinding? Uh-uh, I saw backing out, trying to give themselves time to square a face. So the whole school for a bunch of the folks was really to get the hand on properly, lead hand, get the club off the ground, build decent wrist conditions in the backswing, and then feel a sense of pressure and then unwinding to a finish. So Revolution Golfers, to summarize, once you get the club in your hands, this is going to have some, you're going to put it in play, you're going to put it in motion as you wind things up, but don't be afraid to have that sense of fall to the lead side before you stand up, rotate, relocate, and extend yourself into a nice tall finish. So Martin Chuck wrapping it up. Great day at the Tour Circuit Golf Academy here in Phoenix. As usual, you know what to do. Post your questions and comments down below, and I'll get to everyone that I can, which is 99% of them. So take care, Revolution Golfers, and thanks for watching.